Hi guys, welcome to the first unboxing and full review of 2021. It is a lighted building from Lemax 2015 Caddington collection, so a Victorian era collection. 2015, so not a fresh item, but it is a fascinating item. Let's start with the box as always and from the back side. Personal lighted building, nutcracker and wood toy carve. It is from 2015 Lemax collection and item number it is 55994. As always the indication that inside you will find an LED light bulb as it is usual with recent uh, Lemax production and it will need three 1.5 AA uh, batteries in order to light it. Standard box uh, from each side you get uh, the picture of the uh, building itself and from the front side the big picture of the uh, building with all the items and everything else it is uh, inside the box so nothing particular with the box but i told you this is a fascinating item not crackers wood toys etc very interesting so let's open the box for the first time let's go here we go as always the styrofoam package from Lemax, standard styrofoam package. Let's remove it from inside without damaging anything, I hope. Okay. Mm. Done. Inside the usual notice. This is an handcrafted item, so this is an handcrafted pattern and a, a standard uh, use notice there. So uh, let's open the box. A little damage here, a little damage on the styrofoam case here, but when I buy something I can check the inside box. So. Here is a problem. The outside box isn't damaged, so this is this occurred uh, directly at the um, factory. So let's open it for the first time and let's hope that nothing will be damaged inside. Top O Lemax 55994. Let's remove that. Okay, here I have. Uh, the two flags, flags, sorry, to put on top of the building, the two red flags there. I also have uh, the battery adapter here in order to get everything lighted, but as you may already know, I won't use uh, this adapter to uh, light my building. I will do, as always, my proper lighting system. And here we have the new LID, LED light bulb with on off switch. So let's continue. Let's try to remove the building without breaking anything. This was just the top. Okay. Doki, removing it from the styrofoam case. Here we go. Let's remove the packaging, the outside packaging. Let's try. It's always difficult when I am the, this the, the uh, building for the first time. I don't know precisely how to handle it and avoiding anything to be damaged. So here we go the building itself with front side and everything else okay so it's time for the full review see you in just a few seconds thanks
time for uh, the full uh, review. So this is uh, Lemax item number 55994. It is from Lemax 2015 Caddington collection. The name Nutcracker and Wood Toy Carve. As always the dimension of the building. The building uh, and the dimension will be 8 width and depth. This building is uh, 8.4 inches in 8 by 7.3 inches in width by 4.9 inches in depth or 21.4 centimeters by 18.6 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters. The weight 46 ounces or 1.3 kilograms a very heavy but it is a very big uh, building not uh, the biggest one but it is also big let me just remember that this is a, a Lemax Caddington building so it is from a Victorian era why am I always repeating this simply because I don't want anachronistic buildings Victorian era went from 1837 up to 1901 and for example one toy store from uh, the same Caddington collection has a big plane, a big aircraft on the, si on the shop sign and it can't be possible Wright Brothers only had the first plane taking off from ground in 1903 so two years after the end of the Victorian era I know this is at limit but let's be uh, sincere I don't want anachronistic buildings or buildings with anachronistic items or details <coughs> sorry so let's go a couple of time around the building and I will let you uh, see everything from the distance before getting serious with everything. So this is done. Let's go full screen. Let me just adjust and let's start with the backside, obviously, as I always do here. No, there. Okay, let's go full screen. Let's start from the roof. Roof, nothing to say about the roof. Uh, let's, let's see, we have two uh, fluttering flags, two red fluttering flags, one here and one there. Obviously this one is perfectly vertical with the roof. This one is a little bit inclining towards the right, if you watch it from this side, obviously. but. I don't care as always this is a unique and made object a unit and made building so some imperfection are common and without imperfection it any Lemax buildings will be some collect collecting items snow full of snow on top of the roof and I like Caddington uh, buildings Caddington collection buildings with full of snow on top of the roof simply because this is supposed to be a winter a Christmas uh, collection so Christmas at least in Northern Hemisphere at least in England at least in Northern USA was not possible without snow so uh, a Christmas village with the Caddington buildings has have to have a big amount of snow and this building has a big amount of snow on top of the roof so the tiles the tiles are black sorry guys you can't see uh, the right color of the roof because they are inclined and a little bit glossy so they tend to reflect the light from the tools I use to make the rotation uh, in video and this is reflecting white light but I assure you that the tiles are perfectly black glossy but perfectly black and very well designed and carved let's get a little bit down 
the big rounded hole for the LED light bulb and I as always this is perfectly done and some wood there some wood here and there vertical and a little uh, inclined as always the, the those building used uh, triangles to um, get the system hyperstatic and to get everything stable and not collapsing I'm not here to teach you um, science constructions but uh, this is uh, a common way of buildings uh, buildings <laughs> Uh, at that era. Here we have uh, some space from some additional flags here on the back there but also this is the attachment from the side garlands I will show you in just some minutes. Also some more, more uh, wood there that uh, will uh, protrude from the walls that simply because those big a piece of those big uh, po black, um, wood poles there were um, uh, supporting the weight of the second floor there and those were common in these kind of buildings at that time three windows and of course you don't have uh, holes in the windows so they have been painted in uh, yellow, the false uh, holes have been painted on uh, with yellow to simulate the lights coming from the um, from the inside of the building. But as usual, backside of uh, uh, Lemax buildings aren't intended to be shown, so don't uh, ever expect uh, real uh, windows from the backside. Also, these little holes here are not in perfection, but as uh, walls were made at that time so uh, in, instead of being perfection it's currently very well done uh, walls weren't perfectly done at the time okay and this is done for the uh, backside colors colors perfect black um, brown uh, lighter brown or a yellowish brown there and the windows with uh, red and uh, uh, yellow very well think it. Also some more snow there. From the side. Let's go from the side. Let's go from the, this side. Okay. This side from the top. Also the uh, red fluttering flag is visible and here is the first shop sign. This uh, shop sign is uh, blue, uh, very well designed, a round sign post, uh, a round sign, uh, shop sign, uh, common uh, for, uh, for all the shops from that era. But obviously this is not hand painted, this is uh, simply a sticker. <laughs> too very, uh, too much uh, perfect to be uh, pa hand painted, so I can assure you that this is a, a sticker. Uh, Nutcracker head sticker, red, black, uh, um, goldish, gold or yellow, and pink and everything else. So some more uh, wood here on the side wall, some more triangles uh, to get the structure very, very, very rigid, very, very hyperstatic and a garland, a side garland with a mistletoe wreath there, some uh, red Christmas uh, bows there, also on the wreath there and this is very well done because it, the, we need to have uh, some contrast between colors and objects on every wall. Getting uh, a little bit further down two windows. Obviously not perfect, yes, not perfect at all. The two fr windows frames were added, were glued together after making the uh, main building so they are perfectly vertical. Here you can see the uh, glue there, also there, some uh, yellow there because this is the same frame used for the uh, back uh, windows so uh, sometimes they tend to uh, forget what color to use. I'm talking about the uh, craftsmans that were as uh, the, the craftsman that has built this building that has made this building. 
so some uh, also some blue canopy on top of each uh, window also very attractive and uh, here we have some red all around the um, the windows and obviously a little uh, Christmas tree I don't know but this is a pine tree for sure as, uh, as uh, Lemax always uh, only uh, had the Christmas tree so pine trees everywhere and some more snow on the uh, floor uh, I like that obviously so this side is done oh sorry this is an this is not an imperfection this is simple little piece of uh, uh, styrofoam from the uh, container that <laughs> is still there I haven't removed it so this is not a uh, something that has been uh, forget to paint but it is simply a small piece of uh, styrofoam of expanded styrofoam a little uh, styrofoam bowl um, that's all for this side let's go towards the other side uh, let's do the other way I won't ruin your front side surprise let's start from the top um, the uh, flattering flag here not visible because obviously <laughs> both flags are going towards the same side and this is going toward the other side um, but you can appreciate the gold uh, flagpole here some uh, more uh, shop sign the same as previously but the sticker is has been stickered a little too, too much toward the left and it is not perfectly centered with uh, the post itself I don't care as usual uh, some more garland some more garland some more bows some more uh, mistletoe wreath there and the same structure for the uh, framework for the building framework for the wood building framework let's go a little down here we have the entrance the side entrance the side the wood entrance the side door uh, another blue canopy on top of the door a wood door very well done with some black handle and black hinges there and two lanterns one from each side this one is not perfectly vertical but two things first I don't care because it has been and made second this shop is certainly not new so maybe the aging of the shop the aging of the building has made the lantern a little bit uh, mm, devastated by the time sorry for the terms you also have uh, two uh, darker darker uh, steps in order to get uh, towards the entrance there the uh, entrance door there and another uh, pine tree there on in, in a vase obviously and colors colors are perfect uh, we have uh, a distinction f between the uh, shop sign there and the building itself and uh, blue red yellow green black uh, very well contrasted so absolutely very well done let's go to the front side and let's start from the top the top a magnificent uh, shop sign there uh, differentiating and cabinet crackers from uh, wood toys those are two different kind of um, toys of uh, um, items that the shop is making so it is very well think to differentiate them uh, and carved the not crackers and carved not crackers sorry on top of uh, a yellowish uh, color and wood toys written in yellow on top of uh, blue and wood toys here is not um, um, is, is not a sticker as and carved not crackers but it is uh, made from porcelain and the two nut crackers there that seems to hold the sign itself absolutely genius to have 
think about such a, such a solution. Also, they are not vertical, so they attract even more the attention of the viewer. And the border here red on top of the roof that uh, is completely brownish or um, bl black, black, white. So those colors are perfectly well done. Oh, I forgot about the chimneys. The chimneys, two from the back side, one main chimney here with real um, bricks there. Simulated, of course, but real brownish, reddish bricks there. Also very well done. Um, let's go a little further down. Yes, there. Two windows, run from each side of another uh, shop sign. The same shop sign you have already seen from each side of the building, but this one has a sticker, a little uh, more uh, precise, a little more centered with the sign itself. Blue. Um, blue crown here, uh, blue crown for the shop here, the windows. Also those two frameworks are glued together after the main building was done, so these w those ones are a little bit better than the uh, windows from the side, but they are uh, horizontal instead of being vertical. A little appreciation here, or a little remark here. Let's talk about those uh, green wood shutters, those green wood window shutters there. If you analyze the length of both the shutters, you will notice that they aren't enough to close perfectly the windows. But it is something that you need to pay attention, very, very, very accurate attention to <laughs> get it. And I'm... I'm uh, I'm crazy, I know, so I've noticed it, uh, but I don't care. This is a unique building, and every building has those uh, will have those defects. Those are collection items. All uh, Lemax uh, items are collectibles items. So these will be a unique item. Even this imperfection of this line here going straight from that point to that can be considered an imperfection, something to uh, return the object. No, I will have those uh, imperfection only in my building. No other building will have this imperfection. So this make this building even more unique. Some more long garland here with this time two wrist, uh, uh, two um, uh, mistletoe wreaths there and some more uh, red Christmas bows here and there. Let's go to the main view there. From each side, two nut crackers this one uh, absolutely beautiful red hat with some green closed eyes it's the first time i see a nut cracker with closed eyes but this is very interesting white hairs and uh, white beard and a red jacket there the other one the other one has a black hat with some uh, goldish there with some gold uh, freeze there and this one has uh, black moustache, greyish beard and greyish uh, hairs. Very different from the other, from the head top. And it is holding a welcome sign. Genius, genius to have it done such a way. To differentiate uh, one nutcracker from the other, it is obvious that it will be uh, more uh, quick to have uh, the same nutcracker from each side, but these make the building even more, much, much uh, interesting, even much uh, beautiful than uh, other buildings. 
uh, here we have the same uh, wood door we have from the uh, side entrance with two more lanterns there and the shape of the of the door is absolutely uh, right for the era for the Victorian era some more inches black uh, inches and the black handle there some more triangles there and I can assure you that another item with the same code 55994 will not have the same painting for the inches there maybe it will be some more black maybe less black but this is wonderful with all the uh, Lemax buildings and just one step to get inside in comparison um, in, if you compare it with the uh, side entrance door the scene there let's talk about the sticker in the back side we have a doll here a green puppet pap puppet there and a green balloon and two letter cubes two wood letter cubes very common at the time also very common during the 40s 50s 60s yes and obviously uh, early uh, years of the 19th century and uh, uh, that's also some black paint bucket there with some uh, black brushes there to paint the objects and now now the craftsman itself I don't think this is a very well suited cap because this is too silver but maybe at the beginning of the 19th century uh, of the 20th century sorry beginning of the 1900 it can be found yes because yes maybe at the end of the Victorian era uh, the uh, working trouser the red working trouser there the workbench the work table the work uh, um, chair there and a nutcracker in the uh, maid uh, it is simply finishing another nutcracker uh, it still miss some uh, uh, gold color on the top on the hat but also ab absolutely genius to have put it at 90 degrees uh, from the other two uh, nutcrackers because this is not a flat nutcrackers this is a 3d nutcracker and you can appreciate the silhouette, the, uh, the side of the nutcracker very... Um, it, and this silhouette here, this profile here is absolutely identifiable even from the distance. Another sign here, hand carved wooden toys. Different colors on a white sign, on a white sandwich uh, sign here perfect even because it is uh, rotated uh, around 30 to 45 degrees from the uh, main uh, view there it will attract the attention even from the street uh, those big sign here are intended to attract the viewer from the distance and those sign are intended to attract people from the uh, street Toys, yes, toys. It is a wooden toys shop. A rocking horse, a perfect rocking horse. Wood here, some yellowish wood, some brownish wood for the uh, tail, and here on top of the head, and the blue uh, rocking here, the blue rocking uh, adding there. Also, you can appreciate two uh, rotating joints there because simply those kind of rocking oars were intended to be used as a rocking uh, toy here but also if you remove <laughs> the rocking blue uh, side there the doors um, add the ability to simulate the walking um, the uh, kid uh, simply to get to put pressure here on top on the back of the uh, horse and uh, legs will go forwards and backwards simulating the walking of the horse uh, so two functions for the 
horse there. Um, yes, some other wooden toys, some little wood duck here on wheels. Yes, perf perfect shape for the little duck there. And also for the train. It is not an entire train, you have just the uh, locomotive and the tender on wheels. And just remember that those two kinds of the toys here with wheels were intended to be pulled pulled around by children's uh, by kids with a lanyard all around the room or all around the kitchen or even on street on the streets <laughs> during that period they were and you will you would have seen commonly uh, kids uh, girls uh, boys uh, pulling their toys by lanyards even on the streets and uh, I think that's all oh also the red floor here differentiating the uh, shop the real shop from the uh, inside from the other shop that will be surely where the uh, craftsman lived at that time because the shops and um, homes generally were placed in the same building. I forgot to mention that I love buildings, I love Lemax buildings where they had um, uh, um, shop buildings, sorry, when they had craftsmen or people doing some kind of work in front of them. This make even more realistic the shop, even more animated the shop and that's absolutely fantastic have i said everything yes even for the front side yes very colorful red green uh, brown black every color possible here has been depicted so absolutely uh, very well uh, done pros and cons i will not do pros and cons because i have absolutely no cons against this uh, building this uh, shop building everything is perfect for me not as perfect as nora's uh, christmas boutique or even some more um, buildings but i love this building it represents uh, 100 percent the christmas spirit the Christmas Cadicon spirit with uh, the building itself uh, everything uh, is Christmas and also the snow on top of it so here we go here I have everything I had to say about this building let's just appreciate it from every angle even from this angle here you can appreciate the 3d aspects of everything here the 3d aspect of the main shop sign here and everything from other angles and that's all guys even for for this review so as always please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time